Welcome back, fellow book enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a masterpiece that has left its mark on the world of Latin American and world fiction. I am talking about none other than The Savage Detectives, a spellbinding novel penned by the Chilean author Roberto Bolaño. Released in 1998, this work quickly gained critical acclaim and propelled Bolaño to international fame. Now, you might be wondering what makes this novel so special. Well, The Savage Detectives takes us on an unforgettable journey, starting in Mexico City and traversing multiple continents. At its core, the story revolves around a group of passionate young poets seeking their artistic identities, grappling with self-discovery and chasing after a literary enigma that will keep you hooked till the very end. So, are you ready to explore the fascinating world of the Savage Detectives and uncover the secrets that lie within its many pages? Let's get started. But before we delve into the intriguing world of the Savage Detectives, let's take a moment to learn more about its creator, Roberto Bolaño, and also the novel's significance in the literary landscape. Roberto Bolaño was a Chilean author and poet born in 1953 in Santiago, Chile. Though he initially gained recognition for his poetry, it was his novels and short stories that catapulted him to worldwide fame. Bolaño's unique writing style, which seamlessly blends reality with fiction, has garnered comparisons to literary giants such as Gabriel García Márquez or Julio Cortázar. The Savage Detectives, first published in Spanish in 1998, is considered Bolaño's magnum opus and one of the most important novels in Latin American literature. This sprawling, multi-layered narrative is divided into three parts and boasts a large ensemble cast. The novel's unique structure, employing multiple narrators in a non-linear timeline, reflects the fragmented nature of memory and the passage of time. Bolaño's own experiences as a young poet and his involvement in the infrarealist movement in Mexico during the 1970s heavily influenced the savage detectives. As a result, the novel serves not only as a captivating story, but also as a testament to the spirit of rebellion and the quest for artistic freedom that defined a generation of Latin American writers. In today's video, I will be exploring the Savage Detectives from multiple angles, ensuring that you get a comprehensive understanding of this literary gem. I will start with a brief plot summary, which will cover the two main parts of the novel, setting the stage for our journey into the visceral realist world. Next, I'll dive into the core themes of the novel, such as literary ambition, exile and displacement, and the unique portrayal of time. This will allow us to appreciate the depth and complexity of Bolaño's work, as well as its relevance to readers across different generations. Following that, I will analyze the key characters, including Arturo Velano, Ulises Lima, and of course the enigmatic Cesaria Tinajero, to better understand their motivations and their roles in the unfolding narrative. After our in-depth exploration, I will share my personal thoughts on this novel, discussing aspects that I found particularly engaging, as well as any elements that I found challenging or, let's say, less enjoyable. Finally, we'll wrap up this video with some concluding thoughts, summarizing the key points and sharing my overall impression of The Savage Detectives. So, by the end of this video, you will have a greater appreciation for Bolaño's masterpiece and be better equipped to decide whether this is a book you would like to add to your reading list. So, without further ado, let's embark on our literary adventure and into the world of The Savage Detectives. Let's begin our journey into The Savage Detectives with the first part of the novel titled Mexicans Lost in Mexico. This section introduces us to the visceral realist poets Arturo Bellano and Ulises Lima, who serve as the driving forces behind the story. The visceral realist which are a fictional avant-garde literary movement created by Bolaño, are inspired by his real-life involvement in the infrarealist movement. In Mexicans Lost in Mexico, we follow the story of 17-year-old Juan García Medero, a literature student who is quickly drawn into the visceral realist movement. He begins to document his experiences and interactions with the eccentric and passionate poets in his diary. 
as the central figures of the novel Arturo Bellano and Ulises Lima are characterized by their rebellious spirit and yielding dedication to their craft and their unquenchable thirst for adventure. As we immerse ourselves in García Medero's diary entries, we witness the poet's wild exploits, their run-ins with authority, and their passionate discussions about literature, love, and life. These experiences culminate in a daring rescue mission as Belano, Lima, García Medero, and a prostitute named Lupe flee Mexico City to escape the wrath of Lupe's violent and vengeful pimp. Now, having set the stage with the first part of the novel, we now venture into the second part, aptly named The Savage Detectives. This section departs from the diary format and instead weaves a tapestry of narratives from a multitude of characters, each providing their unique perspective on the central figures of Arturo Bellano and Ulysses Lima. Spanning two decades and multiple continents, the Savage Detectives part of the Savage Detectives, follows Belgrano and Lima's relentless pursuit of the enigmatic Cesaria Tinajero, the founder of visceral realism, who vanished without a trace many years ago. As the duo embarks on this seemingly impossible quest, we witness their encounters with a diverse cast of characters, each with their own stories and insights to share. These testimonies create a vivid kaleidoscopic portrait of Arturo and Ulysses, as well as the world they inhabit. Each narrator not only adds depth to our understanding of the protagonists, but also serves as a witness to their growth and transformation as they traverse the globe in search of Tinajero. From Europe to Africa and back to Mexico, we are taken on a whirlwind journey that reveals the intricacies of human relationships the importance of artistic freedom and the impact of time on memory and identity. The search for Cesaria Tinajero ultimately becomes a metaphor for the search for meaning and purpose, which lies at the heart of the novel. As we journey through The Savage Detectives, one of the most prominent themes that emerges is that of literary ambition and the quest for artistic identity. This theme is deeply intertwined with the visceral realist movement, which serves as the beating heart of the novel. The visceral realists, led by Arturo Bellano and Ulises Lima, embody the spirit of rebellion and nonconformity. These young poets are driven by their passion for literature and their desire to forge their own artistic path, even if it means going against the grain and challenging established literary norms. This relentless pursuit of artistic freedom is a reflection of Bolaño's own experiences with the infrarealist movement in Mexico during the 1970s, as I said. So throughout the novel, we see how the visceral realists grapple with the complexities of creating meaningful art and also finding their unique voices in a world that is ever-changing. This struggle is exemplified by the duo's search for Cesaria Tinajero, the enigmatic founder of their movement, who seems to be more myth than reality, perhaps. As the poets embark on the global quest for Tinajero, we witness their dedication to their craft and their unwavering belief in the power of art to transform lives. At the same time, we also see the dark side of ambition and the sacrifices that come with the pursuit of artistic greatness. But let's turn our attention now to another powerful theme that permeates the novel, exile and displacement. Throughout the story, we encounter characters who are constantly on the move, both physically and emotionally, as they search for a sense of belonging and purpose. The protagonists, Arturo Bellano and Ulises Lima, exemplify this theme as they embark on their global quest to find Cesaria Tinajero. The journey takes them across continents, from Mexico to Europe and even Africa, as they navigate a world in flux. In many ways, their physical journey mirrors their emotional displacement as they struggle to reconcile their identities as poets, dreamers, and outsiders. Exile and displacement are not just limited to the main characters, however. The diverse cast of secondary characters who populate the novel also grapple with their own feelings of alienation, whether they are expatriates, immigrants, or simply individuals struggling to find their place in society. 
Bolaño's exploration of this theme speaks to a universal human experience, the search for a sense of belonging in an increasingly interconnected and ever-changing world. The Savage Detectives masterfully captures the feeling of rootlessness and the longing for connection that often accompany displacement, making it a poignant and timely meditation on the human condition. Another fascinating aspect of The Savage Detectives is Bolaño's unique treatment of time and its non-linear presentation within the novel. This unconventional narrative structure not only serves to heighten our curiosity and engagement, but also plays a significant role in shaping the story and its characters. The novel is divided into three parts, with the first and the last being set in 1975, and the middle section spanning two decades from 1976 to 1996. This non-linear approach to storytelling allows Bolaño to explore the fragmented nature of memory and the passage of time, providing us with snapshots of the characters' lives from different periods and different perspectives. As we make our way through the novel, we witness the gradual evolution and transformation of the characters, particularly Arturo Bellano and Ulises Lima. In the second part, the myriad narrators who recount their encounters with the duo not only add depth to our understanding of their personalities and motivations, but also reveal the impact of time on their dreams, ambitions, and relationships. This non-linear narrative structure also serves to underscore the novel's theme of exile and displacement, as it mirrors the character's own disjointed and fragmented experiences. In addition, it emphasizes the elusiveness of artistic identity, as the story of Cesaria Tinajero remains shrouded in mystery despite the multitude of, of perspectives that attempt to illuminate her life and legacy. Now, let's delve deeper into the characters of Arturo Bellano and Ulises Lima, the enigmatic figures at the heart of the Savage Detectives. As the central protagonist of the novel, their motivations, struggles and growth provide the driving force behind the narrative and offer valuable insights into the themes that Bolaño explores in the book. Arturo Bellano is a thinly veiled stand-in for Bolaño himself. He's a complex character driven by his passion for literature and an unyielding determination to forge his own path as a writer. Despite his seemingly rebellious nature, Bellano grapples with his own insecurities and vulnerabilities, which are gradually revealed as the story unfolds. Ulysses Lima, on the other hand, is a more elusive character, shrouded in an air of mystery. Though he shares Bellano's commitment to the visceral realist movement, Lima often appears more reserved and enigmatic. Throughout the novel, we catch glimpses of his inner struggles and desires, but his motivations remain somewhat veiled, leaving room for our interpretation and speculation. As we follow Bellano and Lima on their quest for Cesaria Tinajero, we witness their growth and transformation, both as individuals and as artists. Their journey, marked by moments of triumph and despair, forces them to confront their own limitations, their relationships with others, and their dedication to their craft. In our exploration of the Savage Detectives, I don't think we can overlook the central yet enigmatic figure of Cesaria Tinajero, the elusive founder of the visceral realist movement. Though she remains a largely mysterious presence throughout the novel, her search and the impact of her legacy serve as the driving force behind Arturo Bellano and Ulises Lima's personal quests. Cesaria Tinajero's character embodies, I think, the enigmatic nature of artistic inspiration, as well as the struggle to define and understand the essence of one's art. As Bellano and Lima traverse the globe in search of Tinajero, she becomes a symbol of their own journey towards self-discovery and artistic fulfillment. So, despite her elusive presence, Tinajero's influence is felt by the characters who encounter her, as well as those who only hear of her as a legend. So, in many ways, she represents the unattainable ideal that drives artists to push beyond the boundaries of convention and strive for greatness. At the same time, Tinajero's search also highlights the often perilous nature of artistic ambition, as the protagonists are forced to confront the limits of their own 
abilities and the sacrifices they must make in the pursuit of their dreams. The search for Tinajero ultimately becomes a metaphor for the larger quest for meaning and purpose that lies at the heart of the human experience. As we venture further into this novel, it is important to also acknowledge the rich tapestry of secondary characters that populate it. These characters, with their unique stories and perspectives, not only contribute to the multi-layered narrative, particularly in part two, but also play a crucial role in advancing the story and its themes. One such character is, of course, Juan García Madero, the young literature student who narrates the first part of the novel through his diary entries. His journey from being an inexperienced, idealistic youth to a more mature, worldly individual mirrors the transformation of Arturo Bellano and Ulises Lima and also serves as an entry point for us readers into the world of the visceral realists. Another memorable character is Amadeo Salvatierra. Amadeo Salvatierra is a former associate of Cesaria Tinajero whose recollections of the enigmatic poet provide valuable insights into her life and the origins of the visceral realist movement. Salvatierra's testimony not only uh, deepens the mystery surrounding Tinajero, but also adds depth to the novel's exploration of memory and the passage of time. And then there's uh, Jochild Garcia, a photographer and former lover of both Bellano and Lima. Her narrative offers a unique perspective on the duo's motivations and struggles, as well as a window into the complex dynamics between the various members of the visceral realist movement. And these are just a few examples of the many unforgettable secondary characters that bring the savage detectives to life. Each character in this novel serves a specific purpose, whether it's, it is to illuminate the protagonist's personalities, explore the novel's themes, or simply add color and depth to the rich narrative tapestry. When I first picked up The Savage Detectives, and I've read it two or three times now, I was immediately drawn in by the fascinating world of Arturo Bellano, Ulises Lima, and the visceral realist movement. The diary entries of Juan García Medero in the opening section of the novel provided an intriguing introduction to the characters and themes, and I found myself eagerly diving into the story. However, as I progressed uh, through the novel and encountered its non-linear narrative structure and multitude of perspectives, I have to admit that I finally felt a bit disoriented. The shift from the first part's intimate diary style format to the kaleidoscope of voices in the second part required some adjustment on my part, but as I continued to read and immerse myself in the various narratives, I began to appreciate the depth and complexity of Bolaño's storytelling here. The rich tapestry of characters and their unique stories not only deepened my understanding of Arturo Bellano and Ulises Lima, but also provided valuable insights into the novel's themes, such as literary ambition, exile and displacement, and the passage of time. So, I found myself fascinated by the intricacies of the visceral realist movement and also the struggles of its members to define their identities and create meaningful art in a world that is constantly changing. As I reached the end of The Savage Detectives, I realized that my initial reaction had evolved significantly. What had begun as a fascinating yet somewhat disorienting journey had transformed into a profound and thought-provoking exploration of the human experience. So this novel left a lasting impression on me, and I just couldn't help but reflect on its themes and characters way after turning the final page. In my reading of The Savage Detectives, there were several aspects of this book that I found particularly engaging and captivating. First and foremost, Bolaño's writing. His writing style is truly mesmerizing. His prose is poetic raw and evocative, effortlessly transporting us into the minds and worlds of his characters. The vivid imagery and the emotional depth of his writing drew me in and kept me invested in the story from start to finish. 
Another aspect of the book that I found incredibly compelling was its unique narrative structure, the non-linear presentation of the story and the multitude of perspectives that Bolaño employs add a sense of complexity and depth to the novel. This unconventional approach to storytelling not only challenges our preconceptions of what a novel should be, but also enriches our understanding of the characters and themes that permeate the story. The characters themselves are yet another aspect of the Savage Detectives that I found truly engaging. The rich tapestry of characters, both primary and secondary, is so skillfully woven by Bolaño to create a vibrant, multifaceted world that feels both authentic and larger than life. The protagonists, Arturo Bellano and Ulises Lima, are enigmatic and fascinating in their own right, while the myriad secondary characters add color and nuance to the narrative, making the story feel alive and dynamic. Lastly, I found the themes explored in the novel to be stimulating and deeply resonant. The exploration of literary ambition, artistic identity, exile and displacement, the passage of time, all those themes not only added layers of meaning to the story, but also connected with me on a personal level. And they prompted me, I would say, to reflect on my own experiences and understanding of the world. But while I found The Savage Detectives to be truly fascinating and a rewarding read, there were certain aspects of the novel that I initially found challenging or less enjoyable. So it is important to acknowledge these parts because they contribute to a well-rounded understanding of the book. One of the challenges I faced while reading the novel was having to adapt to its non-linear narrative structure. At times, the jumps between different time periods and the plethora of narrators, particularly in the second part, could be disorienting, making it difficult to keep track of the various storylines and character arcs. However, as I progressed through the book and became more familiar with the narrative structure, I did begin to appreciate its complexity and the way it deepened my understanding of the story and its themes. Another aspect of the novel that I think some readers might find challenging is the sheer volume of characters and also their interconnected relationships. With such a large cast of characters, it can be difficult to remember who's who and how they relate to one another. While this may be daunting for some readers, I think it is important to remember that each character plays a role in shaping the story and contributing to its overall impact. It can be helpful to take notes and create a character map. <clears throat> it can be helpful to take notes or create a character map to keep track of these relationships as you read. That would be my tip. Finally, the novel's dense and sometimes obscure references to literary figures, works and movements might be challenging for readers who are less familiar with the literary world, particularly Mexican or Latin American literature. However, I believe that this aspect of the novel also adds to its richness and depth, and that it encourages readers to expand their literary knowledge and engage with the text on a deeper level. You will learn a lot from reading The Savage Detectives. And in spite of these challenges, I believe that this novel is a profoundly rewarding and engrossing book that offers a wealth of insights and experiences for readers who are willing to embrace its complexity and depth. Personally, I found Bolaño's masterpiece to be an unforgettable and deeply rewarding reading experience. The rich narrative, the compelling themes and the vivid character, characters all contribute to a story that is both thought-provoking and emotionally resonant. The Savage Detectives is a novel that invites readers to immerse themselves in its complexities and layers. It offers a reading experience that is both challenging and ultimately rewarding. If you're someone who appreciates intricate storytelling, rich character development and thought-provoking themes, then I wholeheartedly recommend The Savage Detectives to you. This is a captivating and powerful novel that has left a lasting impression on me and I believe it is a book that many readers will find deeply rewarding. If you've read The Savage Detectives already, or if you decide to pick it up after watching this review, 
I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And if you have enjoyed this book review, this video, and would like to see more like it, please make sure you like this video, leave a comment with your thoughts and share it with your fellow book lovers. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more book reviews and literary discussions. Thank you for watching and happy reading.